Good day. I'd like to welcome you back to our course and let you know that in this lesson, we'll be showing you how to add resources to your resource dictionary. This is fairly common and it may be something you need to do as you're starting a new project, get your resources added in there. This lesson will focus specifically on adding labor resources. Let's get started. I'm in my resource dictionary and I'm going to be adding a trade resource. So I'm highlighting the area I want to start with, the area I want to add my resource under. Let's get started. We'll go ahead and hit this add button up here in the top right. And we have a new entry. So let's go through some of the fields that we need to enter, the fields we need to fill in as we go through our, our resource profile here. I'm going to be adding a welder. So there's my welder resource ID. Now resource ID is a unique field, meaning that you cannot have two resources with the same ID in Primavera. Usually that's not a problem. So we'll go ahead and give the resource a name, welders. Okay, these other fields, employee ID, title, email address, and office phone, they are optional for the case where we're working with a kind of a trade type resource. So we'll simply leave those empty. If we were entering a, a real person, you know, Bob McGee, then we would certainly fill those in if it was appropriate for our situation. Let's go ahead and go through some of these tabs. The codes tab is where I can enter in resource codes. Now, if you're not familiar with resource codes, make sure you check out the lesson in this course about resource codes and we'll fill you in there. Let's go ahead and, and add a resource code. We'll go ahead and hit the assign button. And let's say this is a construction resource. That's the department it belongs to. And perhaps down here, we can also indicate a no location for this resource. Well, this resource perhaps is in North America. That's great. As you can see, entering those resource codes is not terribly complicated. Use the assign button and assign the proper codes for your unique situation. Let's go to this details tab. On the details tab, the first thing we wanna just make sure we've set properly is the resource type. I am working with labor right now, so the default is labor. So we're gonna leave that as it is. Also, Primavera has support for multiple currencies. So here you can enter the currency for which you wanna track this resource's costs. Mm -hmm. 